Hello there, how you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. In today's video, we are going to discuss Survivor favorite Sarah Lucina's life after winning season 34. Are you guys excited? Let's get started. Keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. With 41 successful seasons, Survival is undoubtedly the best competition that will grace the audience's televisions. With over 600 competitors and a grand prize of $1 million, the show has seen 41 winners over the past 22 years. Sarah Lacina is one of the competitors who has been on the show several times. She was the jury's favorite for Survivor Game Changers, which took place in 2016. Additionally, Lacina had competed on Survivor Kagayan and later on Survivor Winners at War Games. Lacina became the 14th woman to win the show, and the latest to join the club of winners was Erica Kasupanen, who was also the first Canadian to win the show. After forging social bonds and competing fearlessly to become a millionaire, here is Lacina's life after winning the show. 6. Sarah Lacina co-owns a CrossFit gym Sarah Lacina and her husband are proud owners of a CrossFit gym. The couple runs and manages the gym together as a business partnership. Through her Instagram page, Lucina posts many photos of the gym and shares the progress with her fans. The gym is fully equipped with up-to-date pieces of equipment. The gym is also located in Iowa, where she works in the police department. 5. Sarah Lucina's real-life career as an investigative police officer Sarah Lucina's mother worked in the same field and inspired Lucina to become a cop. The 38-year-old is currently based in Iowa, where her primary job is that of an investigative policewoman. After high school, she moved to Cedar Rapids and became a cop in 2006. After her tremendous work, she has now climbed up in rank to become an investigator. It was evident that her experience in policing through consistency, commitment, and ability to read people's minds would see her the challenge winner. 4. Sarah Lucina Trains for MMA Fighting Sarah Lucina joined boxing and martial arts in 2009, but she never pursued it on a competitive level. However, after joining the police department, her co-worker Tom Grubb introduced her to the games and helped her prepare by taking fitness lessons. She started training with Team Hard Drive on a professional level, which she enjoyed. I really enjoy boxing. When I first came into it, I wanted to fight MMA, Lucina said in an interview published by Heavy. Currently, she's training hard to get to the level that will permit her to compete in MMA fighting. 3. Sarah Lucina and Family Life Sarah has been engaged and married to a fellow cop, Wyatt Wardenberg, for a long time. The two lovebirds welcomed their son back in 2014 and named him Knox. She even revealed that she was already six months pregnant when she originally competed on Survivor Kagayan. Her mom encouraged her through the pregnancy period and made her focus on the win. However, she didn't but fast forward in 2016. Both Wyatt and Knox came on Survivor during Winners at War Loved Ones Visit. She dedicated her win to her family and used the $1 million prize to purchase a home from which she and her husband Focus raised their son, Knox. 2. Sarah Lucina's Workout Routine Since owning a gym with her husband, Sarah Lucina and her family have made working out routines that help keep them fit and healthy. Sarah believes in training hard and consistency to keep the body in form. She has said severally that one of the reasons she keeps hitting the gym is the fact that she can learn and even get better in her martial art. Considering she is full-time police and invested in MMA cage fighting, a good workout doesn't seem like much of an option. Luckily for her, the husband and their son also join her in the gym and work out together. 1. Sarah Lucina competed in the Survivor All-Star Season Sarah Lucina united with other stars in Survivor, winners of war season, where her strategy was to worry about one day at a time without worrying about day 39 before you are past the first tribal council. The strategy took her far, but was not enough to win the challenge. She finished fourth, which was good considering it was an all-star season. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. Do hit the like button down there. Comment down your views and do share with more of your friends. See ya. Take care.